Hello, fellow people, and um, I forgot to talk about these figures because I don't know why. I literally have no excuse. But today I'll be talking about the Legacy Velocitron Voyager Voyager Cybertron Venus Override and uh, the Robots in the Skies Black Convoy. So starting off with Override, let's get into a vehicle mode. I really, I really like the vehicle mode. But I have a few problems. It's probably that they that the headlights and taillights aren't painted, and that the wheels are clear plastic. I also find it pretty weird how they actually look. It looks like they molded in an interior, which I never noticed. So um, yeah. Also, it's pretty funny how that they gave her. They didn't make her head a fake, like they did with the little one. Well, um, I have a little bit of a paint patch in there. Clearly, see that. Mm, yeah, this doesn't look bad. Those are probably my only problems. Aside from that, the vehicle mode looks pretty good. And you can see that her there's her weapon, but it doesn't have a cyber key. Yeah, I don't think this figure has gimmicks. But to be fair, this is from the more newer figure, Transformers figures, so it probably doesn't already. So, aside from that, this vehicle mode doesn't look bad. And the vehicle mode is Bush compatible. Epic. Here we have her compared next to Hot Rod. And there were rumors that the figure was going to be a retool of Hot Rod. And that is not no longer the case. This is a, an entirely new mold. Which is weird, since this is an, ex an exclusive, but they're usually redecos, or remolds. And yeah, you can see a very big difference. Except for the width, that's kind of similar. And here we have a compared next to Cybertron Optimus. Cool. I find it funny how she's two thirds, she's two thirds larger. She is about two thirds of the size of Optimus. Weird. So, let's talk about her robot mode. And, it's not that bad. My only problem is that some of, is that the gold painting is on some of her black areas. I'm not really a fan of that mixture. And aside from that, she doesn't look bad. Though, I'm not really a fan of how. Her legs are kind of long. That's it. She has her weapon, and you can store it on her wrist or her back. Pretty cool. There's a bit of a paint scratch. I feel like this figure is going to be very easy to paint ship, so um, be careful. Here you have her compared next to Cybertron Optimus. Here we have her compared next to Hot Rod. I feel like she has more accessories, but the person that stole the figure just didn't get the other one. accessories. So, um, yeah. She, there is literally no way that they're going to just give her one accessory and make her the size of a large deluxe. So, um, yeah. And her legs are hollow. Hmm. And here we have her compared next to Blaster. And I'm not sure why, but I feel like Hot Rod is bigger. Because I've seen this figure be more bigger than Stu Studio Series Rex Gar. Which is already pretty massive. And yeah, my final thoughts on this figure is I'm kind of mixed on it. Because her size seems off. Because she's the size of a large deluxe figure. Um, yeah. I'll just wait for the for the official images to release because there is no way she actually have only one accessory. So um, be right back. And here we have Legacy Black Convoy, and what the frick! This looks amazing. This figure is not a hundred percent accurate to the Robots in the Sky series, which I'm alright with. As long as it's done properly, and this 
the Zvat. This figure looks really cool. The coloring mixes well, and this figure somehow has more paint apps than than the than Laser Optimus, which is surprising, considering he's very exclusive. Ironic. He comes with this trailer, which instead of being casted out of a out of a metallic gray plastic, it's it's actually painted silver. Okay then, that's pretty cool. Anyways, so I'm comparing him next to the Laser Optimus in robot mode. Yeah, you can see what I mean with the with the him having more paint apps. They painted in some some lining in the knees. They painted in the ab section. They also gave him some teal on the chest area. They also painted in. Not sure what those are. So um, yeah, this figure has a lot more painting, but doesn't have the painting on the shoulder. Funny. So um, yeah. I feel like this. Hmm. Oh, never mind. What? This is confusing now. Cause it looks like the knees are a new mold, but at the same time they look like they're the they're the same, which is weird. Anyway, so going into the mode, and it's not that bad. This truck mode does not look. Does not look bland somehow. With a when he only has teal paint apps instead of something else. And like I said earlier, they they painted the the tinker silver, and that doesn't look bad. <laughs> they made the windows the pink plastic. I don't really hate that. And the weapons, I forgot to mention, are also pink. Plastic. I really like how the sword and axe look. Probably except the axe. It's still the main whole cover. And yeah, this doesn't look bad. Comparison next to Laser Optimus. And you can see what I mean. <laughs> but when comparing him next to Laser Optimus, he somehow looks bland. How though? How's that even possible? Still, I skipped out on this figure because of the price, but I might get this figure just because of how cool it looked. So, um, yeah, this is it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.